Most of you who are currently watching this video are probably doing so on a laptop or a mobile device. If so, what component is definitely necessary for your laptop or mobile device to operate properly? Yes, the battery. It is hard to understate the importance of batteries and you could use your electronic gadgets for longer if you had better batteries. Consider a future in which you can use your electronics as much as you want without worrying about charging them for several weeks at a time. Diamond nuclear batteries which are now being developed are the answer to all of these issues. These batteries will revolutionize the game, according to Elon Musk and many other well-known experts, especially given that nuclear energy is one of the most potent energy sources on the planet. Researchers found these batteries had a 28,000-year lifetime, indicating they might dramatically transform how appliances function and allow them to live far longer. Many prestigious firms are attempting to build their own nuclear diamond batteries due to the short lifespan of these batteries and as usual, Elon Musk is taking the lead. Could the world's batteries of the future be nuclear diamond batteries? Are nuclear diamond batteries dangerous to use? What battery-related projects does Elon Musk have in the works and is our nuclear battery one of them? Join us as we explore how Elon Musk finally reveals nuclear diamond batteries and how they can be harnessed for the benefit of all. Numerous gadgets and equipment including electric cars, smartwatches, hearing aids, earbuds, and household appliances operate on batteries. Batteries are highly successful in their current forms, but could they be improved? Because it produces no carbon dioxide emissions, Nuclear energy is regarded as a clean source of energy. However, nuclear energy waste can pose issues for society. Nuclear reactors, fuel processing, factories, hospitals, and research institutes all produce nuclear waste, which is kept out of the general public due to its potential threat. What if some of these nuclear waste could be utilized? This form of waste is also known as radioactive waste, and that decayed duration spans from a few hours to thousands of years. A group of physicists and chemists at the University of Bristol created a synthetic diamond that can generate a tiny electrical current when exposed to a radioactive environment. The researchers refer to their creation as a beta-voltaic gadget, meaning it is powered by beta decay from nuclear waste. When an atom's nucleus has an excess of particles, it discharges some of them in order to maintain a more stable proton-to-neutron ratio. This process is known as beta decay. In the form of a battery, the credit could go to a San Francisco startup called the Nano Diamond Battery or NBD, which has been working on a potentially game-changing battery. This produces a kind of ionizing radiation known as beta radiation which consists of many high-speed, high-energy electrons or positrons known as beta particles. They named the battery a high-powered diamond-based alpha, beta, and neutron voltage battery. Because it may provide durable, environmentally friendly power to gadgets when utilized in low-power settings like satellite sensors. The nano-diamond battery, for instance, claims that a battery may last up to 28,000 years. The lifetime of a car's battery is estimated to be 90 years, which is much longer than the average lifetime of the vehicle. One battery could theoretically power many wheels, according to the business. According to the business, a consumer electronic device battery such as one for smartphone or tablet should last around 9 years. At its most basic level, a piece of machinery that functions by transforming the chemical energy it stores into electrical energy. The transfer of electrons from the electrode to another material, which occurs in an external circuit, is necessary for the chemical processes to take place in a battery. Electron mobility generates an electrical current that may be employed to carry out work. The diamond battery, on the other hand, is a beta voltaic which is similar to a photovoltaic solar cell in that it transforms beta radiation into energy rather than light. A typical beta voltaic cell is made up of layers of semiconductors sandwiching thin layers of radioactive material. When nuclear material disintegrates, beta particles are released. These particles subsequently collide with semiconductor electrons to create an electric current. The power density of the radioactive source diminishes as the distance to the semiconductor is increased. 
Furthermore, only a small fraction of better particles will really strike the semiconductor and turn into electricity since they are randomly released in all directions. Nuclear batteries' efficiency is substantially lower than of other forms of batteries as a result of the fact that better particles do not move in a straight line. The PCD or polycrystalline diamond is employed in this scenario. One of the hardest substances the human civilization has ever encountered is diamond. In fact, it is much stronger than silicon carbide. It can also function as a radioactive source and a semiconductor. By exposing it to better radiation, you can create a battery with long lifespan and no need for recharge because its interior is refueled by nuclear waste, allowing it to maintain its charge indefinitely. The process utilized to create an artificial diamond for batteries is known as chemical vapor deposition which uses C14 methane and hydrogen plasma to create diamond sheets at high temperatures. Because it is composed of incredibly thin layers of large crystalline grains, the diamond used in the battery is far smaller than the diamond seen on rings. The other function of this multi-layer construction is to prevent radiation from escaping and lower the risk to people's health. When employed, close to or even within the body, it poses no danger to people. NDB was the first to realize that the process creates a cost barrier because it is both expensive and energy-consuming to produce unique diamonds. Diamonds are often employed in the manufacture of electrical components because of their excellent heat conductivity. They are most well-known naturally occurring heat conductors and are three to four times as efficient as copper or silver, according to research written by College of Engineering at the University of Houston. There are natural blue diamonds on the planet, but they are considerably harder to come by and cost far more to buy than their synthetic counterparts. The radioactive isotopes from nuclear waste, specifically radioactive isotopes of uranium and plutonium, are combined with the nanodiamonds after they have been sourced. Single crystal diamonds, which are only a few square millimeters in size, are utilized there to rapidly transfer heat away from radioactive decaying isotopes resulting in the creation of electricity. The ultimate product of the entire technique is blue-color diamonds with substantially greater conductivity levels than conventional diamonds. According to the findings of a study published in Nature in August 2018, blue diamonds are formed in the Earth's lower mantle, which is located approximately 670 to 2600 kilometers below the surface. Because of this, blue diamonds can only be found in three mines around the world which helps to explain why they command such a high price, which is around $17,000 for a light blue diamond of 0.3 carats and $75,000 for a dark blue diamond of 0.25 carats. While the most recent mentions of a nuclear diamond battery follow research conducted by NDB, the University of Bristol, in collaboration with Arkinlight, into the possibility of the batteries, this is not the first time this type of power source has been mentioned. Nuclear batteries were invented in 1913 by English scientist Henry Mosley, who found that particle radiation could create an electric current. This discovery paved the way for nuclear batteries to be developed. When combined with silicon semiconductor cells, beta voltics were created in the 1950s as a power source for medical equipment such as pacemakers. Although the radioactive isotope permethenium-147 was commonly utilized as a beta-electron generator, semiconducting materials were not incredibly successful at converting electrons produced by beta decay into usable electric current. As a result, as more cheap lithium-ion batteries became available on the market, first-generation nuclear batteries fell out of favor. Researchers were obliged to adopt isotopes with a higher danger factor but also a higher energy output in their beta-voltic formulations. However, the development and testing of beta-voltic cells proceeded during these few decades. Furthermore, throughout the 1950s and 1960s, the aerospace industry was particularly interested in Mosley's finding since it may give electricity to spacecraft for long-duration missions. However, the invention could only be developed or maintained with other technological systems. Elon Musk is not only a charming personality, but also a creative genius who has led five big technology firms that are altering the future. As the CEO of Tesla, the world's largest electric vehicle manufacturer, he has repeatedly said how much Tesla needs batteries to satisfy demand 
and boost car production. As of March 11, Reuters stated that Musk requires batteries soon. He announced his intention to join the battery industry in 2015. Tesla's new large factory has the space to expand his initiative, and the firm has struck a new partnership with an Australian business to obtain ingredients for its batteries directly. While many companies are interested in competing to develop a nuclear diamond battery, this use case is currently quite limited. And the primary reason is that it has a significant disadvantage. However, it can go on for years without needing it to be recharged. Because of its modest energy capacity and low power, this battery can only be used in very tiny devices that do not demand a substantial quantity of electricity. This restricts its usefulness. Diamond batteries can now power small electrical gadgets like hearing aids and smartwatches. People who realize they need hearing aids at an early age will profit immensely from this since they will only require one procedure to receive the device and will be able to use it without interruption. As of today, we know that enterprises are putting in substantial effort to create operational models of diamond batteries while creating their individual commercial goods. Akinlight and NDB have made different predictions on how the batteries will be used. NDB believes that diamond batteries can be improved to the point where they can power larger devices, such as electric vehicles, rovers, or satellites in space. Meanwhile, Arkanlight does not expect his batteries to be utilized to power automobiles or even laptop computers. They are focusing far more on the amount of time that can be spent on smaller devices rather than working on larger ones. If Tesla decides to enter the fray, all of these things may change because Elon Musk is so inventive and intelligent, and because Tesla has so many resources at its disposal, the nuclear diamond battery may be improved. However, questions about the project's economics for Tesla would be raised. We can now foresee what Arkhamite and NDB will provide to the public commercially in the next few years. That is our video for today, we hope you like it. So what do you think of Elon Musk's revelations on the nuclear diamond battery with the NDB partnership? Share all of your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Well, that's all for now. This is Big Tech Media. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.